Hollywood Bets Gravel we race on Sunday the 25th of April. We're on the poly track. There is a nine race program. The first race off at an early 5 to 12, 11 55. And it's Graham Hawkins and I that are going to be taking you through the preview show for this meeting. The first race is a maiden plate over 1,400 meters. It does not set off the bipod or the PA or any of those bets. That comes a little bit later on. But there's an exciting package we've got for you. We've got reruns of What a Rider, rerun of Never Ending Love, and an interview with Dean Canamea. So an informative package. Before we give you our thoughts, sit back, relax, and enjoy what we've got for you. Predators coming forward. Look right. Montana Sky, the white cap, is now starting to unleash. They also hit the front. Montana Sky, what a rider. Predator, a four way go. Montana Sky on the right hand side. The horse is on the inside. What a rider is going with them. Could it be Montana Sky today? It's going to be Montana Sky by a long neck. What a rider. Then came the horse and Predator. Just the wind. Ruby Sky is going to go to the inside. Bigger low, shaken, not stirred. Towards the inside, never ending love. Another love at the 200. Still has a four length advantage out here. And another love. Never ending love's running on to the inside. Another love's getting a little bit leg weary, which she is entitled to do, but well ridden to win. Back in second, never ending love. Then came Just the Wind and Megan. Yeah, well, no, um, what a rider. Just got caught last week uh, over 1,600 metres. This is over 1,400 metres. He came through that run well. And, uh, you know, he's knocking on the door to win his uh, first uh, first race, and hopefully he can pull it off on, on Sunday. But uh, all is well. He's holding his form. Oh, well, there we go. <clears throat> From Dean Kaname, all is well with the Water Rider. That's what we want to hear, Graham. Uh, an interesting maiden race because Water Rider looks ready to... to Get into the winner's box, never ending love. The filly taking on the boys for Teddy Prince Lou ran a very good race last time, as we saw. Uh, they look to be the two principals, but I found two horses that I'm expecting big improvement from, and we'll touch on those in a moment. But how do you see it? Interesting race because, according to official ratings, never ending love has got this race at her mercy. She's 10 points above what a rider, but, and this is a huge but, she's gone up from the 65. To a 71 on the evidence of her last two runs, and they were both on the turf. On the poly track, what a rider makes more appeal. Never ending loves had six runs in the poly track for two moderate faults. What a rider, although no star, has been there and thereabouts consistently on the poly track. So I'm going to ignore the handicapper ratings because she's achieved that higher rating on, on, the, on the back of her last two runs in the turf. So I'm very much in the camp of what a rider to beat Never Ending Love, uh, but they do stand out on form. Okay, we certainly, as the viewers and the punters and our supporters will see if, during the show, that you and I are quite uh, similar right throughout this card, and that's fine, um, because I'm also in the camp of what a rider from Never Ending Love. There are two horses that, Graham, I, I do respect, that I'm expecting huge improvement Number one, Giants Castle from the Nati Cotson stable. Samanga Kumalo rides. They're going to jump from gate one. There was improvement from run one to run two, and I'm expecting there to be more improvement from run two to run three. And number two, Quest for the Best. Duncan Howells, Winston Chow, and Tabiza Gomede. That wasn't the worst debut I've ever seen. He was the second fastest finishing. Walked out the pens on that occasion. There's been six runners for a winner out of that form line. I'm including one and two in my trifectas and quartets. I think there's every reason to believe that they will improve in this moderate lineup. As we said, uh, what a rider and never ending love stand out on form. Then you've got to scratch around for your trifecta and quartet calculations, quite frankly. Giants Castle, Quest for the Best, in particularly, I think, uh, Quest for the Best, but both should improve. And of course, the third favourite in the early betting, number four, Tenacious Time, must have a chance, although that second in his penultimate start behind Rocket Rumba, that was in a desperate field. And Tenacious Time hasn't run since uh, the 18th of January. So for trifectas and quartets, Giants Castle, Quest for the Best, possibly even Till Meath and Tenacious Time, those four horses, uh, you've got to find horses to run third and fourth. I would imagine uh, that those four horses uh, will fight it out for those minor placings. It should be between What a Rider, Never Ending Love, 
but on the poly track, definitely giving the edge to number five, what a rider with some degree of confidence. Okay, there we go. As I said to you, not much argument between Graham and I for today's race meeting. Let's move on to race two, which is the first leg of the bipod. Thank <laughs> you.